As the school year comes to an end, people are asking each other all different types of questions, like, what are you going to be doing this summer, or do you have any plans? But there is one question that we really should be asking. Who deserves summer vacation more, teachers or students? We went around the school to ask different teachers and different students what they think and who they think deserves summer more. It's not even close. It's the teachers. Um, well, you know, um, most of the students are terrific. But there's always the knuckleheads, as I call them, or the bad monkeys. Uh, and by May, we're all ready to tear our hair out, so we definitely need summer more than the students. Honestly, I think it's probably equal. Uh, everybody gets burnt out this time of year. We've been working hard uh, for nearly 10 months, and everybody's just kind of over it and ready to have some free time to do fun things and not have to worry about schoolwork. Um, I think students deserve summer more because you know they spend all school year doing teachers assignments, studying for tests, quizzes, pop quizzes. And, you know, it's really task tasking on the mind. And then on top of that, we also have to study for SAT or AP tests if you're taking AP, and it just starts to like get really stressful. So having giving students that time off is you know, well needed and well deserved. He likes definitely the teachers. Because they do a lot of work in school and they don't get a lot of recognition most of the time, but they have a lot. Of, they grade papers, they write papers themselves, they they create assignments, they do a whole bunch of stuff. I think both teachers and students are more excited, and yes, we are very excited. <laughs> because students can call in sick, students can go to the restroom during the class. Teachers can. Teachers have an innate responsibility to. 150 different schools. Students have an innate responsibility to six classes. It's it's clearly different. If you didn't have summer for teachers, there would be insane asylums from here until the sky. Now that you heard both sides to the stories, who do you think deserves summer more, teachers or students?